<laughs> I just spent a really enjoyable time with them too. Boy, my daughter is 11 years old. That is a scary age to have a daughter, man. Scary, scary, scary. So, particularly with the amount of information that's available in the world today. So, all right. So call, let, let, let me a, sort of a soliloquy. Yes. Nothing to do yes. with the face. No, all right. Nothing go, go ahead. No. Um, you approach the driver's side of the car, right? Yes. You ask for identification. Yes. The driver produces a piece of identification. True? Yes. The identification was a, and we'll just, before we get to describing it, let's just talk about its condition. It was an actual, said Michigan on it, right? Yes. Said Michigan driver's license or driver's uh, operator's license, correct? Yes. Now, it said the number on top, the name Michigan on top, as you've seen before in driver's licenses, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. And it had a plastic coating, did it not, this license? It's a uniform plastic card. Okay. And, and the, the card itself that, that Mr. Jordan handed you was a, of the same uniform plastic coating, correct? Yes. And the plastic coating itself has, uh, there are some anti-fraud or er, anti-fraud, I guess, built-in technology into that card. For example, there's a, black, there's a black light viewable symbol on the card, isn't there? Yes, sir. It's counterfeit. Not counterfeit. Fraud. This card this card actually had not just the name Michigan on it. It didn't have, it had the plastic coating. It also had the black light viewable symbols on the card, correct? It did. And it had a digital image on the card as well? Sir. So it wasn't like it was taped over or it had been separately laminated or something like that, right? No, sir. Okay. The point being that... It was had all the elements of a... It was it looked like a, it was a legitimate-looking license, but you had some, according to your testimony, some special knowledge in terms of when it would have been issued. Yes, sir. Right, well, and, and, and I, so it, it appeared, it had all the elements of a... Of a and forget about the, the number for a second. All, all the physical elements of a validly issued... License issued by the Secretary of State, correct? Yes, sir. All right. And so you take the license and you actually go back to your car. It's, and I'm going to talk about your discussion with Mr. Jordan. But you go back to your car to run his name through lean and or through the Secretary of State computer system, correct? Yes, sir. Now, as you're doing this, understand that all you possess in your hand is this driver's license, right? Yes, sir. You would ask him some questions about his driving record, right? Yes, sir. He said he had a couple of tickets in the past. True? Yes. Um, you didn't ask him what specific types of tickets they were. Is that true? That is correct. You didn't ask him where those tickets were, like in what court, for example. Is that true? That is correct. And you didn't ask him how those tickets were disposed of, in other words, whether they resulted in conviction, dismissal, or resulted in some non-abstractable offense, correct? That is correct. Let's talk about how tickets can be resolved. In your experience, in your 15 years, you know that you can issue a civil infraction ticket for an individual, right? Yes, sir. The civil infraction ticket itself can, a person would have to go to court to typically contest that ticket, is that right? Typically. Okay. Well, let's talk about the cases where they don't. It could be, for example, a waivable offense. A waivable offense is what? Like defective equipment or could be no registration or no proof of insurance, something like that, correct? Uh, no proof of insurance is no longer waivable. Okay. But... Tell, us, tell the judge what a waivable ticket is. It's a ticket in which the defendant can take uh, to a police authority to sign off on the ticket, mail that ticket into the court, and it gets waived or canceled. Okay. In other words, Mr. Johnson, excuse me, Mr. Jordan told you that he had a ticket, right, in his past? Yes, he did. You did not know at that time whether it was a waivable ticket or whether it was a non-waivable ticket for which he'd have to go to court. True? That's correct. And can we agree that you didn't investigate that? At that time, no, I did not. Okay. You, can we agree that you assumed the worst when you heard the word ticket, that you heard or thought that it was like 
speeding or something that you assume the worst at that point? I don't know that I characterize it as worst, but... But you assumed that it was... You assumed something. You jumped to a conclusion about what the word ticket meant, right? I was asking him about his record. I understand. So if he's, It's pretty clear in your mind that you weren't referring... That you didn't leave room for the, the option at that point that he was saying ticket could have been a waivable ticket or something of that. You didn't think that at that time. You weren't thinking that way, were you? If you'll allow me to answer the first part of your question, yeah, I just want to know whether you off for your next statement as you're let doing. Go, let him answer. Go ahead. All right. When I asked him about his record, I'm assuming that that meant a ticket on record, meaning some type of conviction, not a ticket that was disposed of, or it wouldn't be on his record. So I asked him about his record. He said he had a couple of tickets. You know that when I interview clients and I ask them if they have anything on their record, they always say that too, that they have had a couple of traffic tickets. Sometimes those don't show, those don't show up on records. You'd agree with that, right? Sometimes, yes. A truthful answer, the most honest answer a person could give you about whether or not they had anything on their record, if they didn't know if it was there or not, would be to tell you they had a couple tickets in their past. Is that true? That'd be the most truthful answer, wouldn't it? I don't know about it being the most truthful, sir. I that would be speculative on my part. Okay. The person who says to you that you go back and you you run his record through the Secretary of State, correct? I did run his record through the Secretary of State. And it showed no tickets? That is correct. So at that point, you don't know whether those were waivable tickets, true? I did not know. You also don't know at that point whether or not those were non-abstractable tickets. Is that true? That is correct. And a non-abstractable ticket means a ticket that someone for an offense like blockading traffic or sudden acceleration or something of that sort, correct? Yes, sir. If, so the record bears out what that means. That means that a person could actually get a ticket for speeding or something more serious, right? That is correct. And a prosecutor or a city attorney could agree to reduce that ticket or that offense to a non-abstractable offense, right? That is correct. And a non-abstractable offense would mean that it, even though the person received the ticket, it wouldn't show up on their record. That's correct. If I can, just to maybe speed things along, I, I, will have, I can stipulate to the fact that sometimes tickets are <laughs> not abstract and they don't put on record. I have no objection to that. I, I, and I appreciate that, and I, I think we all know that. I'm just trying to, to make the record bear out that when you ran his record on the Secretary of State, you concluded, you said to the judge that that was a big inconsistency in your mind, right? I felt that that was further suspicion being an inconsistency. Even though it could be entirely consistent with a person having had a couple of tickets, as he disclosed to you, and having no record. In other words, person receiving non-abstractable or waivable tickets, correct? If that were the sole thing I was looking at, that would be correct. I understand. So it really, just comparing those two facts, it isn't a blatant discrepancy. They could be entirely consistent, right? And that's all I want. They potentially could be explained. Okay. To get right to the point, the facts that you had in your mind were his age, the fact that the license was only issued within, you know, a new license at six months, and that um, it wasn't consistent with the information that he had had a couple tickets in the past. That, those are three bases for which you made the arrest. No, sir. It was, it, was, it was slightly more than that. Uh, just to expound on your uh, specific question, Judge, uh, obviously the, the age of the defendant having a probationary original license, meaning it had just come into existence, I felt was extremely suspicious. Okay. Uh, because in my experience of roughly 15,000 traffic stops, people get their license 16, 17 years old. Uh, so that was a, a very dramatic okay. uh, red flag. All right. uh, the gentleman uh, apparently made an inconsistency in that he said he had tickets. The record showed no tickets. Okay. Uh, there was no explanation for why the gentleman uh, didn't uh, obtain a license at an earlier age. 
no out-of-state record where he had been licensed in another state and transferred to Michigan. But did you ask no, him any of those questions? No. That showed up on my computer, sir. Well, do me a favor, Trooper. Answer the judge's question. Did you ask him any questions about that? The answer is no. I, I, right, we don't need to. Is the judge asking know, me or you, the, you can cross I, on that. I, 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 know, I just judge. want to know the basis for the for the arrest. I appreciate that. Right, what, what else? On my computer screen, sir, if if there is an out-of-state record, it will indicate out-of-state, or it'll show a transfer from a different state. Okay. Uh, also, a Department of Corrections record uh, will show up, indicating potentially that the defendant had been incarcerated okay. to explain why there was a time lapse in obtaining that license. Okay. None of that information was present to explain that, okay. which brings me back. Excuse me. Brings me back to the first point of the defendant's age and a probationary original right. license. So those were all the factors that you took into consideration in your mind to develop the probable cause to arrest him. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Right, thank you. I, and I'm not trying to repeat things, but it's a the license says Michigan on it. It had the the and the anti counterfeit plastic coating on it, right? Yes, it did. It had an image where the image is supposed to be correct. Yes, it did. Uh, the the license appeared to have been issued by the Secretary of State. You don't, you don't I know, Judge. I'm not trying to do that. I just want to keep going over that. I understand your argument's going to be this was a valid license on its face. There was nothing. There was not enough for probable cause. Correct. Okay. And, and let me add this. You said that an important factor for the judge's bet for in your determination or your decision making was that the license appeared to have been issued within six months. Correct? To the best of my recollection, it, I can say newly issued, but I would have to... Well, let's not back off from newly issued. You told the judge six months, that it was appeared as though it had been recently issued within six months, correct? I believe so. I would okay. have to refresh my memory for the exact date. This wow. is an incident from two years ago. I'm going to try to help you do that right now so we can... We can um, I'm surprised. I remember everything. Uh, well, no, I'm not suggesting that, but this is... So this license, take a look at page 13 of your report, and if you want to look at it there, it's number 13 in the prosecutor's stamp. You can read the highlighted part or read any other part you want. That's entirely up to give you. Me favor. Give, give me about a one-minute recess. Yes, sir. Okay. You're right there. Okay. You're the only witness left now that since we're not going to do the... Uh, Maybe. Yeah, probably. I would say probably. Right. No, I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him.